and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then welcome for the first time my name is Meredith and as you probably guessed I'm a student at Belmont University and I have gotten so 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 many questions over the years because I'm a junior this year so over the past three years now I've received so many questions about Belmont about my time here about whether or not I like it and I've decided it's finally time for me to sit down and just answer everything in one video rather than answering things like in random Q&A's so if you're interested in attending Belmont maybe this coming year or the year following that I hope that this can be helpful for you I'm gonna warn you now that this will probably be a long video I'm guessing it's gonna be close to 20 minutes but if this determines where you spend the next four years of your life then hopefully you have 20 minutes to spare I also just want to mention that these are all just my own personal opinion obviously some people who do attend Belmont would probably disagree with some of the things that I'm going to say but for my own personal opinion this is what I wanted to share with you guys so I'm gonna start with the pros and then I'm gonna go through some cons and then I think I'm also going to film a Q&A so that will probably be like a separate video attached to this so if you want to watch the full Belmont Q&A with other questions that I can answer um, stay tuned for that at a later time so let's get started with the pros of Belmont the number one thing that I wrote down was the community here I remember when I toured Belmont's campus first of all that's another pro the campus is beautiful um, if you haven't visited you need to come visit because that's what made me fall in love with it I wasn't really even considering Belmont all that much and then I visited the campus and I was like wow I can really see myself fitting in here and Belmont has about 8,000 students currently so it's like a small to mid-sized campus but the community here seriously is so great it's one of those places where you don't know everyone but you feel like you know a lot of people and that's something that I've really enjoyed especially when I'm going to class and I feel like every semester I have the same people in my classes over and over again it's really great and something about Belmont just attracts like the best kind of students and I'm sure like everyone would say that for wherever they go to college but I truly have just met some of the most amazing people here and Belmont is just a community full of super super inspiring and talented people from all different majors. Going off of that, Belmont has a ton of really, really great programs to study here. And personally, I'm in the business school. I'm an entrepreneurship and marketing double major, and I'm also in the honors program here. But there's so many different majors here at Belmont that all have amazing programs. So the entrepreneurship program, personally, I love it so much. I just launched my own business a few weeks ago, and that would not be the case if it were not for the entrepreneurship program here. Belmont also obviously has a great music program that you probably know about if you've even looked here a little bit. Um, we're located in Nashville, so there's a ton of music stuff going around all the time, and whether you're looking into music business or like actual music, like commercial voice or um, any kind of commercial instruments, the programs here for those areas are amazing. Belmont also has a really great nursing program. I think they have like a 100% pass rate for the nursing test, whatever it is that you have to take. Um, and those are just a few that I can think of off the top of my head. But seriously, the programs here are amazing and going along with that, the faculty and staff here are so wonderful. Something that's great about Belmont is because we're smaller, we do have um, a smaller average class size so some of my honors classes have been as small as like 10 people and the largest class I've ever had probably is with like 35 people but most of my classes are right at like 20 or 25 people so it's like a perfect size and the professors here seriously care about you and about your learning so much and it's great because professors know my name and they it's one of those things, some people might see that as a con, like if you miss class, a professor will notice. Um, but I think it's a great thing that I know all of my professors personally, and that they know me too. And I also just know that they're so invested in my education, and they want to see me succeed and do well. And sometimes I feel like at a larger state school that might not be the case. Obviously I don't go to a larger state school, but um, I've never had to worry about having a class with like hundreds of people, which is something that I like kind of hinted at it a minute ago but uh, something else great about Belmont that you obviously are aware of is that we are located in Nashville and Nashville is such an amazing amazing city and it's fun being here because so many of my friends from home love to come to visit Nashville whether that be over the summer over breaks or just like for weekend trips it's such a fun place to be there's literally always something going on and with Belmont not being a state school there might not always be like a ton of on-campus things going on like 
obviously we don't have a football team. Without having those things, we have other things in Nashville to do. So being in Nashville is literally so fun. There's always something to do. There's so many great restaurants and it's just really, really fun living here and I've honestly fallen in love with the city. Another pro is that Belmont's campus is pretty small and it's super easy to walk wherever you need to. I mean, you could take a loop around the whole campus and it probably wouldn't take you more than 15 minutes. Earlier I talked about how beautiful the campus is and kind of going along with that, I just wanted to touch on the fact that almost everything at Belmont is like brand new or renovated or even if it's not, it's like old and beautiful. We have a ton of new buildings going up on campus. They're currently building a giant dorm. I can like see it outside of my window. It's gonna be the tallest building in Nashville or something like that. A lot of the classrooms are like totally new, updated. We have this brand new calf that's amazing, calf or like cafeteria calf for short. They opened the calf my freshman year when I came to Belmont and so many people like to hate on the calf and say that it's gross or whatever but it is amazing and anytime I hear someone complain about our cafeteria I just get really upset with them because it is a beautiful beautiful cafeteria. I mean they're literally like marble floors and golden elevators and yes sometimes eating there all the time the food will get old and boring and repetitive but it's a really, really nice facility, and personally, I like the food that they have there. They always have at least something that I will eat, and I'm a picky eater, so. I have no complaints about the calf. Personally, I think it's amazing, and just going off of that, like, all the buildings here are so beautiful. Another pro about Belmont would be the Christian community that we have here, and as you probably know, Belmont is a Christian school. We aren't directly connected to any specific church, but they are just labeled as a Christian university, and coming here, I can honestly say that I've grown so much in my faith in ways that I never ever expected. There are a ton of great churches you can get connected to around campus, and there are also a lot of on-campus ministries that you can get involved with, and personally, I've just grown so much in my faith, and that's something that I really owe to Belmont and owe to the amazing people that I've met here. Another random pro I just thought of was, oh I forgot it. Oh, another random pro that I just thought of is that parking is free on campus for students and you can have a car as a freshman, which is really nice. Finally, the last pro I want to talk about is the connections that Belmont has and again, this probably goes for every university, but there's so many well-connected people here on Belmont's campus, whether those be professors or other students. Um, Belmont has some of the coolest students ever that go to school here and again, people are so talented. There are a lot of really great connections you can make by being at Belmont, especially in Nashville within the music industry, so if that's something that interests you, this is a great, great place to be and I can say that I've met so many amazing people, so many like local business owners that I've met through my classes um, that I would have never had access to without being at Belmont. I feel like I went through those pros a lot faster than I thought I would, but those are most of the pros that I have at least listed out. I feel like there are definitely things I'm forgetting, but that's what came to mind at first, because uh, I just wrote these down really quickly. Now let's get into some of the cons of Belmont, because I want to be honest with you guys and let you know that uh, Belmont is certainly not a perfect place, and there are always lots of complaints drifting around campus about all sorts of things, so I just want to let you guys know about those things, trying to be transparent here. The first thing I have written down is that Belmont is increasing their admission right now, so they have a goal of 88-88, I think is what it is, which some people think that's a great thing, you know, more students the better, but with that comes some issues, so class sizes have increased since I've gotten to Belmont. I've noticed that my classes have gotten larger over the years. They're still not too large, but they are growing. Something else with that is freshman housing, which if you're watching this, you probably are like an incoming possible Belmont student, and I want to warn you guys about the freshman housing process. Now, like I mentioned, they are building a brand new dorm right now, but I feel like I shouldn't give like an exact um, number for this because I don't know it off of the top of my head, but I do know that a lot of freshmen that live on campus, which you're required to live on campus as a freshman, but a lot of the freshmen on campus are tripled in their dorm rooms, meaning this is a dorm room that's only meant for two people and they're having to put three people in there, so they're kind of like packing in more furniture um, than the room was like originally designed for. So in a lot of the suite style dorms, there will be um, two bedrooms, a bathroom in the middle, one of the bedrooms will have two people, the other one will have three people, and they're only meant for like four people total, but with all the increasing of admission, um, they've had to triple up on a lot of freshman dorms. So that is something to be aware of. Now there are a few dorms um, for freshmen that are meant to be triple rooms and they're big rooms that I've been in before and they're huge and those are fine to be tripled, but some of the other rooms you walk in and you're like, 
this is definitely only meant for two people and they're squeezing three so that's kind of frustrating especially if you're not wanting to be in a triple room but if you are looking for a cheaper housing option I do know that they lower the housing rate if you are in a triple bedroom going along with the increase of admission Belmont has also been increasing their tuition since I arrived here and I think that's pretty normal as far as I know most universities have to do that just to keep up with like rising inflation in the economy in general but tuition has increased by I think three percent each year that I've been here so that's just something to keep in mind because Belmont already is a very expensive school to attend my next con is kind of more of a personal issue that I have with Belmont some people might not be bothered by this but um, the boy to girl ratio at Belmont is um, kind of astounding <laughs> I think when I came here as a freshman it was 60% girls 40% boys and over the past two years it has become a 70-30 um, for the incoming classes so that means there are a lot more girls here than boys which isn't necessarily a bad thing but I'm just warning you girls if you're coming here to meet your husband the odds of that happening are kind of slim I hate to break it to you but I'm just telling you what I wish somebody would have told me. So going along with the having way more girls than boys, Belmont has four sororities and only one fraternity. I am a part of Greek life here at Belmont and I love, love, love being a member of a sorority here on campus. It's been my favorite part about attending Belmont and something so, so special. So overall, Greek life at Belmont is such a pro and honestly, if I weren't a part of Greek life here, I probably would have transferred and I would not have come to Belmont in the first place if they did not have Greek life here. And I think a lot of other people feel that way too. And I don't want to say anything too controversial and like get in trouble for it. Um, but one of my complaints with Belmont is that sometimes I feel like upper administration asks for student input on things and then they don't actually listen to the things that we tell them and that can be really frustrating when you're paying so much to go to school here and you feel like you aren't really being heard and lastly my very last con on this list is Belmont's many claims of diversity again I think this can be a problem at so many different schools so I'm not saying that it's just a Belmont thing but they continue to claim to be a diverse campus and when you are walking around campus you know that it's not so I think that's really unfortunate that they are claiming to be something that they aren't. I think it's great that they're trying to make campus a more diverse place, but when it boils down to it, it currently isn't. Another con that I just thought of is that Belmont gives out so many parking tickets. It's literally so hard to park anywhere on campus without getting a ticket. I personally have gotten two this year, <laughs> so you have to be very careful with where you park. Another con is that the library here is kind of the worst. It's one of the buildings, one of the few buildings on campus that is super outdated and personally I really think it just needs a facelift and some some renovations done inside. Uh, it doesn't make me want to ever study there, so <laughs> I never go to the library. Something else about Belmont that can be a pro or a con would be the convocation program here. And you might have heard about that, but basically we have to receive 60 combo credits before we graduate. And these are done by going to different speakers, events, doing volunteer stuff. Personally, I have loved going to combos over the past three years. I've seen some of the coolest speakers and gotten to like participate in some really cool things. And I still go to combos all the time even though I'm already finished with my combo credit but it's because they really bring in the coolest speakers and I have like gotten to meet and hear from a ton of really awesome people over the past few years but some people on the other hand if you procrastinate this will probably be an issue for you because I know people who literally have had to stay an extra semester because they did not finish their combo credit on time and it's the truth Belmont will not let you graduate unless you get all 60 of those credits so if you aren't good at keeping up with things like that you might struggle a little bit on the combo bus but it's really so so easy to get them done and plenty of people get them done like their first year so it just takes sticking to it but seriously there are some really cool events and that's something that I've really liked about Belmont another con would be the sporting events at Belmont so as I mentioned earlier we do not have a football team which makes me sad because I love college football but we do have a basketball team and the basketball games are really fun and it's just like a fun community when you go there because it's normally the same people who go to all the basketball games so those are fun they also like give out concert tickets all the time at basketball games because that's like the most Belmont thing ever just bribing students to come for free concert tickets but the other sporting events like soccer games baseball games volleyball games not to like hate on those teams because they're doing great but there's just not much like of a community there and people aren't really involved in those other sports at all. Also we only have a basketball 
gym slash arena on campus. We don't have any soccer fields, tennis courts, which I think is kind of sad because I feel like Belmont is such a beautiful place and we have so much money and I feel like they could just build a soccer field somewhere and it would make life easier, but we don't have any of those places on campus. Another con would be Belmont's other on-campus dining options because there just aren't many of them. So on campus we have a McAllister's, which is like a sandwich shop kind of. Um, we have Chick-fil-A and we've had a few other places in the Curb Cafe, but every year they change or like they go out of business, they're switching around the restaurants in there, so I don't want to say what they are because they'll probably be gone by the time this next incoming class comes. We also have a Starbucks and uh, we have like a little sandwich shop another one like inside a convenience store but when it boils down to it we don't really have a ton of other on-campus options on-campus dining options besides the calf so it's kind of like you go to the calf or you go to chick-fil-a and that's it <laughs> all right so i think that those are all of the pros and cons i can rack my brain for right now i'm sure i'm still forgetting something important and if i am i'll like type it in a comment or if you guys have any questions again please please comment down below i will do my best to get back to you i really hope this video was helpful and um maybe cleared some things up if you are currently in the college application decision process because i know it can be so stressful but ultimately i love belmont i'm so glad that i came here my life would look so different if I, obviously it would look different if I went to school anywhere else, but truly I've grown so much as a person here and I've met the most amazing people and been connected to amazing people and I really am so, so thankful to go to school here. So overall, I do love Belmont and I hope that you guys got a little glimpse into the school by watching this video. Hopefully you can fall in love with Belmont too, but if it's not the place for you, then I'm sure you will find your home somewhere else. So with all of that being said, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful and good luck to you possible future Bruins in your college decision process. One last thing before I go, I'm going to put links to some of my past Belmont videos in the description box below. So if you want to hear about like my freshman and sophomore year, my dorm tours, anything like that, I'm going to put links to those down below. So just click in the description box. And with all of that being said, I have been talking for like half an hour now and I got to go. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you again so much for watching and I will talk to you in my Q&A. Be sure you go check that out. Bye, guys.